Hello, how are you doing? Hey Sandy, thanks for letting us stop by. No problem, come on in. Let's get started with 73 questions. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. What's your job at NCDA and CS? Well, I serve as the Assistant Commissioner of Agriculture over all the Agricultural Services Divisions. What's the best part about your job? I really like the people and get to see so much North Carolina and see the farmers of North Carolina. Describe the Department of Agriculture in three words. Three words. That would be service, dedication, and all about agriculture, but that's more than three words. Describe yourself in three words. Well, I guess service would be one of them, and I try to be fair to people, and also, I just, I just enjoy people. That's a lot more than three words, I know. What's the funniest thing you've ever read about yourself? Oh, gosh. Funniest thing? I'm not sure. Probably something that some, somebody wrote about me in third grade or something. I don't know. What's the best North Carolina college or university? Oh, well, I went to NC State, so I'm going to have to say NC State University. Go, Go Pack. Pack. How do you start your day? I always like to start my day with a cup of coffee, and I love to have breakfast in the morning. What's your favorite time of day? Definitely in the morning time. What's your favorite place to be? My favorite place to be is really anywhere in North Carolina and all around, um, all around this great state. What's your favorite thing to do at home? Well, I like to, I like to, uh, to play with the kids and. And just be here on the farm. What's your favorite family tradition? Well, I love the holidays, especially Thanksgiving. What's the best thing about being a dad? Watching your kids grow up because they grow up so fast and, it, and it's so much fun. Do you like to travel? I love to travel. How many countries have you been to? I think probably 17. What's your favorite country? Definitely Scotland. What's your favorite piece of clothing? Well, I like to have, I like a kilt, probably more than anything else, and by the way, I've got one right here. See there? That's my mother's plaid. That's the McLeod tartan. Can you put it on? Not right now. Maybe later. How many kilts do you own? I actually have two. What's the coolest thing you have from Scotland? Well, I brought some things back from Scotland, but my ancestors brought something that was really neat. This is a Gaelic Bible brought by my great-great-grandfather, John McLeod, back in the early 1800s. Wow, this is a really cool table. Is there a story behind it? There is. There is. The wood was cut by my grandfather here on the place, and it's got walnut and pine and some poplar. And this bench right here is made out of one board, one walnut board. What's your favorite moment in history? Favorite moment in history is probably World War II. If you could live in any time period, what would it be? Late 1700s, early 1800s. Who is your role model? My role model is probably one of the founders, like Thomas Jefferson or George Washington. If you could make a documentary, what would it be about? It would be about camping and traveling all across the United States. Would it air on History Channel or Discovery Channel? Definitely Discovery Channel. If you could switch lives with one person for a day, who would it be? President of the United States. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? I went on a three-week camping trip with my father-in-law. We drove all the way to Alaska and back, and we both survived it. What are the top three things on your bucket list? The top three things on my bucket list, I want to travel to a polar region. I want to fly, solo fly an airplane around the world. And then the third thing is probably to hike on the Appalachian Trail. What's the coolest thing in the world? The coolest thing in the world is just when you see the sunset on the Isle of Skye and you sit there with a good whiskey. That's pretty cool. What's something not many people know about you? Well, I like to cook. What's your favorite thing to cook? Well, I, I enjoy cooking Louisiana Cajun food. Hmm, what's that over there on the stove? Oh, well, actually I was making some jambalaya earlier today. Would you like some? For sure. All right. Get you a little bowl here. So, I heard you have a cast iron collection. Is that true? Well, part of it is there on the stove, and it is true. I kind of have a weakness for cast iron. In fact, you can see I got a few more pans and pots that I have room on the stove. If you could listen to a song every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be George Strait, Amarillo by Morning. What's your favorite movie of all time? Lonesome Dove. Do you use social media? 
I do use social media. What's your favorite social media? Well, I only use Facebook, so I guess that's my favorite. What's your favorite food? Favorite food is North Carolina barbecue. What's your least favorite food? Sea cucumber from China. What's the best thing that you can cook? Uh, I think I make a pretty good gumbo. What's your favorite North Carolina restaurant? The Angus Barn. What's your favorite North Carolina beer or wine? Well, I like Southern Pines Brewery because they're right here in Moore County, but then my favorite North Carolina wine is actually right here. It's Hanover Park. That's from the Yadkin Valley. How did you get involved with agriculture? Well, my, my uncle farmed this place, and I grew up helping him. Would you like to see part of it? Of course. Come on out. How old is your farm? Well, the family first moved here in 1777, and my math's not all that good, but that's been, we've been here a long time. Did you ever want to be a farmer? Oh, absolutely. When I grew up, I wanted to be several things, and a farmer was one of them. What did you want to do with your life when you were 12? You know, when I was 12, I'm pretty sure that I wanted to be a bus driver. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Yeah, my favorite superhero was always Green Lantern with that ring so he could zap people with his ring. What's the best advice anyone has ever given you? Best advice was to never give up. It sounds simple, but it's good advice. What's one thing you had to learn the hard way? I'd say probably patience. What's one thing you wish you could do? I would love to be able to fly a plane solo around the world. I think I mentioned that earlier. What's your favorite thing on this farm? There's a little spot in the woods with a, with a waterfall and it's real peaceful there and that's my favorite place to be. What are three things on the farm that you cannot live without? I can't live without my toolbox. I can't live without some starter fluid and probably also a pair of channel lock pliers. What's a must have that everyone should own? A pair of channel lock pliers. What's your favorite place in North Carolina? You know, I like the mountains and I like the coast, but probably Wiseman's View up in Limble Gorge, that's my favorite spot. Have you lived in North Carolina your whole life? No, I have not. How many states have you lived in? I've lived in North Carolina, Louisiana, Missouri, and Virginia. Which is the best state? Of course, it's been North Carolina. Well, describe North Carolina in three words. Three words for North Carolina would be land of plenty. The North Carolina mountains or the North Carolina coast? You know, I guess I, I'm pulled more to the mountains than the coast if I just wanted to go somewhere to enjoy the scenery. What's the best thing about living in North Carolina? The fact that you can get to the mountains or the coast pretty easily, especially from here in Moore County. Describe agriculture in three words. Feed the world. What's the most common misconception about agriculture? A lot of people think all they were trying to feed the world that we're actually out to kill them and that's a misconception. What's something you want people to talk about in agriculture? I want people to talk about how great it is that their food comes from right here in North Carolina and you can get so much of it locally. What's some advice you would give to a first-time farmer? For a first-time farmer, I would say that the lifestyle is part of the reason to be a farmer, but it's also a business, and don't forget that. What advice would you give to the public about agriculture? I would want to tell the public that agriculture provides the foundation for so much that makes our lifestyle in North Carolina and across the United States so such a wonderful thing. How has agri agriculture impacted your life? Well, certainly I've made a career out of it, and I intend to, tend to spend the rest of my career in agriculture. So I feel, I feel, uh, feel called to do what I do. What's your favorite spot on the farm? Well, this creek down here is part of it, and there's a waterfall up there. But just this, just late in the afternoon in this area, I kind of like it. If you could grow anything in this field, what would you grow? In that field? I would probably grow that. Cotton. What's the best thing that's happened this year? 2020 is kind of young, but I would say there's more optimism around 2020 than there was with 2019 in agriculture, and that's a good thing. What's your favorite sport to watch? I like to watch baseball. What's your favorite sport to play? I like to play golf. 
What's your favorite golf course? Well, being here in Moore County, there's so many. It's any of these courses around Pinehurst. All right, well, let's see your golf skills. How far can you hit this golf ball? Well, we got a golf ball right here. And let's give it a try. You actually want me to hit this golf ball, right? All right. That's impressive. Thanks That's kind of fun. Thanks for letting us start stop by today. Thank you.